plant eaters sometimes will have teeth that are meant for shearing, um, often also for grinding. And if you look at meat eaters, uh, their teeth are generally going to be more cone-shaped, more pointed, uh, functional not only in terms of slicing and cutting, but also just in terms of hanging on. Plants tend to not run away from you when you chew on them. If you look at things like ceratopsian dinosaurs or, or duckbill dinosaurs, their teeth operate in what we call a dental battery. There's this whole mass composed of individual teeth, but it basically creates a almost like a mortar and pestle kind of a operation. T-Rex teeth appear to be shaped not so much for cutting and more so for penetration and for crushing. If we look at non tyrannosaur dinosaurs, the smaller meat eaters, Velociraptors, Deinonychus, things like that, they have pointy teeth, but the similarity sort of ends there. They're a lot more laterally compressed. They're real blade shaped. They really are just built more so to hang on to something and to be able to take the meat off of something and, and eat it. This is the lower jaw of a hadrosaur, a duck-billed dinosaur. And right now you're seeing the inside of the jaw. So this would be toward the tongue of the animal. Out here this would be the, the outer surface out towards the cheek of the outside of the face. This was cut from a cast of the upper jaw. And again you can see this beveled surface right here. That's the grinding surface of the teeth that surface would come down and contact this surface right here giving you a nice grinding palate where any movement of the teeth can really get a good opportunity to start shredding away on that plant matter. So the idea here is that you've got this huge array of teeth at your disposal but you only have to use a small amount of it at a time so gradually your teeth are growing and pushing up and replacing the surface that's getting continually worn down. And the nice thing about a dinosaur, if you're a, a dentist anyway, is that uh, you get fresh teeth forever. These animals replace their teeth throughout their entire life cycle, as opposed to something like us, which get two sets of teeth and then it's pretty much over for you.